Hey, welcome back to the ITC located right here in Abicor Benzel's US headquarters. So in the last video, we kind of did a quick start guide of the, uh, the Abbey Car Advanced, just kind of taking it out of the box, the connections that are in there, some of the things you kind of want to set it up just to do a simple continuous weld along a rigid backstop. In this one, we're going to shake it up a little bit. What if you don't have that rigid backstop to use? So we have a solution for that. It's a magnetic guide rail um, that you can use on a flat plate or anywhere that you don't have that rigid backstop. Uh, we're going to use this magnetic rail. Now this is a, an accessory that we sell. Um, it has magnetic blocks that we can kind of install in, in certain increments. Um, if you need extra um, adhesion to the surface, uh, you can buy more of these and, and essentially install as many as you want. Uh, before we even start though, we want to make sure that our power's plugged in and that our trigger lead is all wired up. Um, of course, we did that in the previous video. So to get it to follow this, instead of using those simple guide arms, we're going to use these guide arms. This goes on either side of the magnetic rail. Now, something we talked about previously was angle of attack. In other words, we want, if we're going to drive from left to right, we want to have that leading arm a little bit shorter, one notch, than the trailing arm. And what that does is drives it into the seam and keeps the, the torch on, uh, aligned. Now, in this situation, we want a zero angle of attack. So we want to make sure that they are in the same groove on either side. So let's just take a quick second and we'll install this real fast. So at this point, the, the switches are in neutral, it's powered up. We have the leads attached. We have the torch roughly kind of where we need it to be. Remember, we can use these cross slides to fine tune it once it's running. But at this point, we're gonna put it down into weld and we're going to weld from left to right. At this point, we're sparking. Use these cross slides to kind of find a tune. Torch position. And just like previously, we can adjust the speed during operation. It's always a good idea just kind of keep an eye on the cables, right? Make sure that nothing's getting run over, nothing's pulling. As long as these two things are parallel, it'll follow the track and stay on scene. Okay, so as you can see, this is actually pretty straightforward as well. So instead of using that rigid backstop, we're able to use the magnetic guide rails. A couple things to keep in mind, right, is always check the trigger lead. That can give you issues. Be sure to align that rail parallel to the weld. Um, the second thing is zero angle of attack, right? We want to make sure that those guide, um, those guide arms are on the same groove on each side. That's going to make sure it follows along seamlessly. So you can always find this information on our website. Please go there. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We're always willing to help. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to weld vertically using the Abbey Car Advanced. Thanks. We'll see you next time.